everyone welcome to another nextcloud installation series video today i will be showing you guys how to install nextcloud on your true nas server or your true nas instance in this case all you need to do is have your true nas already installed and once you log in as administrator or the root user uh, the first thing we want to do is head over to the left side and we want to click plugins so once you select plugins what we need to do here is select the application or plugin that we want to install on our TrueNAS server. In this case, we're going to select Nextcloud and we're going to use Install. And once you select the Install button, the next thing you need to do is enter the name for your jail. So in this case, uh, TrueNAS is going to create a new jail um, for uh, your Nextcloud plugin. So we're just going to call that jail Nextcloud. So that once we look in our jails, we can identify that the next cloud jail um, is assigned to the next cloud plugin. That way it is easy to differentiate if we have multiple applications that uses different jails within our true NAS um, instance. In this case, we're just gonna hit save. And once you select save, true NAS is gonna go ahead and install the next cloud plugin for you. One thing to note is that this installation might take some time depending on the speed of your true NAS server or virtual machine. So don't be alarmed if the installation is being delayed or takes a long time. You just have to be patient and wait. And once that completes, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get your credentials that you're going to use to log in as admin as, as the first time. And then you can go ahead and start setting up your next cloud server from there. So now we're just going to hang on and wait for the installation to complete. So now that our installation of our plugin is completed, we can see we get a success message. If you get any other message or error messages, you can leave it down in the comment section below and I can try to help you to see if we can resolve the error message. So since this was completed successfully, if you take a look at the result or summary of the installation, we can see um, that we have the only warnings we have is my SQL because the passwords were passed in the command line and my SQL is saying that that's insecure, but we don't have to worry about that in this case. So for us to be able to access our next cloud server now, we have to go to our true NAS IP address and using the port number 8282. So I'm just going to open a new browser and I'm going to type our true NASIS uh, IP address. So once you do that, we can see that we are redirected um, through HTTPS. If we look on here, um, the certificate that is currently being used by Nextcloud is our true NASIS certificate, which is fine. Uh, so we're just going to close that um, and we're going to proceed that is on save and now as you can see our next cloud was successfully installed without us having to go through all the steps that you had to go if you were installing this um, natively in an ubuntu instance so the next thing we need to do now is figure out the username and password for the administrative user for you to be able to do this you need to head back to your true nas we're going to close this and we're going to come over to the little arrow on the right side to expand these options. And then we're going to go to post installation notes. So once you select that, you can see now um, the notes include your database name, the database user, the database password, which you really don't have to worry about. Just keep that secured and make sure you're not sharing it with anyone else. What we are mostly concerned about is the admin username and password. So I'm going to copy that password, go back here, and I'll type the admin name, which is ncadmin, and I'll paste the password. And when I log in, as you can see, our installation was successfully complete, and now we have our next cloud. So from here, the next thing you can do is check out my other videos on how to resolve some of the security and setup warnings that you get on a new installation of NextCloud. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you to be able to install Nextcloud on your true NAS server. 
If you have any questions about installing Nextcloud on TrueNAS or any other platform, please leave it down in the comment section below. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.